Good night and welcome to the Armadenas first in this new broadcast. Digital Costa del Sol brings you every Friday all the information about this week news. Benalmadena is a municipality in full expansion and growth over the last years, and it seems that the trend is not changing. City Council announced last week that our census continues to grow. Benalmadena's Mayor Victor Navas and General Administration Councilman Sergio Torralbo offered a press conference last week to announce that according to the latest data from the INE, the population in Benalmadena is growing. Navas highlight that our municipality is very close to passing the population threshold to be classified as a city. Benalmadena's municipal register increased by 1,060 people from the 68,000 inhabitants registered in 2019 to 69,000. It does not mean that this is the figure that we have registered in our registry, but the one considered valid and official by the INE. Since, according to our registry data, there are 72,000 inhabitants. If we manage to advance in the recovery of the land in the municipality of Benalmadena that the Fungirola City Council appropriated a total of 72,500 square meters in the Igueron area, our population will increase again. The mayor emphasized that this increase confirms that Benalmadena is an attractive destination to live or invest. It has also offered some data that they have discovered as a result of an exhaustive study of the registry. The constant increase in population in Benalmadena in recent years shows that our municipality is an ideal place to live, invest and full of opportunities. For his part, Torralbo reviewed Ines figures and thanked the officials of the Register Office and Citizens Services for their effort, dedication and good work. This data shows that our municipality is an attractive place to live and therefore is also an endorsement of the management of this government team. We thank the municipal workers of the Register and the Citizen Service Office for the effort to facilitate citizenship procedures to register in the Register. Finally, the councilman made an appeal to the neighbors who have not yet registered. In addition to being an obligation to register in the municipality in which one resides, it also entails a series of advantage and tax incentives that non-registered persons cannot access. City Council continues trying to find a solution to the problematic of the Los Pintores Hotel complex, and the mayor, Victor Navas, announced that they are going to launch an execution order on the property. Benalmadena's City Council continues to seek for solutions to the problem around Los Pintores Complex, a group of three hotels that has been closed since 2008 and whose abandoned facilities remain illegally occupied. After the intervention carried out recently, which had the participation of technicians from social services and buildings, local police and firefighters, today the fourth meeting of the technical political table was held, in which a roadmap was agreed. The mayor, Victor Navas, has announced that they will carry out an execution order. It's a new meeting. It is the fourth meeting of the technical political table and today all the political forces have unanimously agreed to follow a roadmap in order to try to solve the problem in this environment. As we anticipated last week, we are going to send an execution order to the owner company and we already have all the technical reports that support it. Navas emphasized that they are going to request judicial authorization to access the complex. In various conversations with the bankruptcy administration, we have been informed that they lack the means to carry out the cleaning and tidying up tasks that the environment requires, since the companies that make up the property of the Los Pintores complex are mere in a legal mess, and none wants to take responsibility. In parallel to the issuance of the execution order, City Council has requested authorization from the court to enter the complex and work from social services in the search for housing alternatives for the residents of the complex.
This is the third execution order that the City Council executes on this private property, although none has had results. The City Council always been the one who has to carry out the actions. There is a real abandonment of functions, irresponsibility and total neglect on the part of the property of the complex. We have arranged for the month of January to meet again after receiving the response from the bankruptcy administrator and the court and thus agree on the next step. During the last intervention carried out in the complex, the profile of the residents was analyzed. People in a situation of social vulnerability, far from criminal activities. In addition, social services continues its intervention plan in the complex, addressing interviews with each of the residents of the environment. The property is currently in bankruptcy and under a bankruptcy administrator, which makes it difficult and lengthens the solution of this problem. But Navas emphasized that the City Council continues to work to solve this problem. City Hall sent a responsibility message last week after local police drew up more than 70 sanctions for breach of mobility restrictions and other health security measures imposed to fight the advance of the pandemic. Security Councilman Javier Marín reported last week that during the previous weekend, local police drew up 75 infractions against the restrictions and health security measures established by Junta de Andalucía as prevention against the pandemic. We all have to be responsible and comply with these measures for the general good, and local police agents will continue to ensure that. We've managed to reduce the curve of the second wave in Benalmadena, but we cannot relax and think that everything has already been achieved. The councilman underlined the convenience and obligation to avoid displacement to other municipalities if it's not strictly necessary. It is time to make all our purchases in local stores, but responsibly and in compliance with the guidelines of health security measures. I want to make an appeal to the public, no matter how much from the various public administration's measures are established or businesses' hour are adjusted. In the end, it is everyone's responsibility to limit the risk of new infections. The 75 minutes drawn up by the local police last weekend underlined the importance of respecting the rules established to combat the pandemic and the danger of not complying with them. We risk everyone's health. The offenses have been filled for not respecting the perimeter limitation between municipalities and for breaching the prohibition to travel to other locations without justified reasons, with 59 minutes for vehicle travel and three for walking, or for concentrations of groups greater than six people with 10 minutes. Mavesa presented last week the traditional toy donation for children at risk of social exclusion on the municipality that this year increases by 40% in order to reach more families. Emma Besa Managing Director Joaquín Villazón, Social Welfare Councilwoman Alicia Ladaga and Emma Besa Manager Pedro del Campo present last week the toys donation that the company traditional gives away for Christmas to families at risk of social exclusion. Como todos los años por estas fechas, As is customary every year on these dates, Emma Besa donates toys to the children of the municipality who are experiencing greater deficiencies. This 2020, Emma Besa has made an extraordinary effort in the face of the serious economic and social difficulties that the pandemic has generated, which has caused a growth on the number of children with needs. La Daga applaud this gesture that Emma Besa has with those most in need every year, trying to ensure that no child is left without toys in Reyes and thus enjoy Christmas. She also highlighted that it is the social services technicians who determine which families the donated toys will reach. Thanks to this donation, the children of the municipality who are at risk of social vulnerability will be able to have their gift for ninth night. The generosity of Emavesa has gone further this year. The number of toys has increased by 40% in 2020, given the atypical times we are experiencing due to the pandemic.
For Del Campo, this is an important action that every year fills him with pride. Para nosotros, desde Mavesa, es, es un orgullo poder... From Emavesa, it is a pride to meet our appointment again to ensure that no child in the municipality is left without a toy next Christmas. And this 2020, we have wanted to redouble our efforts, increasing the number of toys in anticipation of the greater need that has caused the pandemic. Benalmadena started its Christmas celebrations with the presentation of the Municipal Belen at the House of Culture, as well as the Municipal Christmas Lighting, both inaugurated by the winner of the Christmas contest, Paula Balbuena. Christmas began in Benalmadena with the inauguration of the Nativity scene at the House of Culture, as well as the Municipal Lighting, which this year had a special character due to the sanitary security measures. So it was done without crowds with the presence of Benalmadena's Mayor, Victor Navas, Festivities Councilwoman, Pilar Ramirez, Culture Councilwoman, Elena Galán, and the innocent hand, Paola Balbuena, a fifth-year student at Colegio Jacaranda, who had won the Christmas contest. This small committee carried out the inauguration of these classic and traditional Christmas attractions. We have made an effort so this Christmas that are going to be strange and different from our traditional festivities other years. We wanted to make sure that our symbols are present on the municipal buildings to bring some joy to our neighbors. This traditional nativity scene has been assembled by Dini López with the help of municipal workers and volunteers. López highlights her attachment to this Belém, which she has been organizing for 10 years. It's the same as other years, although we change some parts and details. We have changed the mountains, the rivers, but the main parts are the same. We just changed the display. Balbuena was in charge of setting the nativity scene in motion and once it was inaugurated, they went on to turn on the Christmas lights, an honor that also fell to this young woman from Benalmadena. Festivities Councilwoman Pilar Ramirez stressed that this year more than ever it is important to keep the Christmas spirit alive. Un alumbrado que es tan necesario para... A lighting more necessary than ever this year to motivate our citizens, as we are not only decorating our streets, but also giving an energy bump to our Christmas spirit, and also promoting and supporting local shopping. And these are today's headlines. Benalmadena keeps growing. New meeting on the Los Pintores complex. More than 70 sanctions for breaching of the health measures. Emavesa presented their traditional toy donation. Benalmadena starts celebrating Christmas. The weather forecast for the weekend will leave us with cloudy skies or covered in the interior where more intense and frequent rainfall is expected in the mountains, which will subsidize in the afternoon when the skies will be slightly cloudy on the coast, morning mist in the interior with mist in the mountains, maximum temperatures rising indoors, the rest unchanged, westerly component winds with strong intervals in high areas decreasing in the afternoon. And that's all. Thank you for watching us and remember you can stay updated on our website or social media profiles on Facebook and Twitter. Have a good night and enjoy the weekend.